Hello. I wanted to talk a little bit about this knife. Um, carried, it, carried it for about three months, and I bought it about the same time that I got this one, which is the Vulcan Amsterdam Dual Action. And um, I love this knife. This knife is absolutely amazing and uh, has a manual open. Also, if you slide this down and you engage a slide uh, mechanism to open it, it'll um, turn into an auto. So I love this knife. Um, I don't carry it um, as much as I do the Blur or the Voyager because of the automatic feature on it. I um, carry it every day, if any, anything. Um, it's in dusty situations and I don't want to mess up the automatic mechanism in there. Um, so, <clears throat> hence I got this one. So, it's a little bit less expensive than the Amsterdam. And I don't mind if this one gets messed up. So, just to talk a little bit about this knife, what I've used it for. Um, I've used it maybe about three times to butcher, um, skinning all the way down to processing, cutting through cartilage, bone, things like that. What I really like about it in that type of situation is this handle. It kind of feels like a tire, um, rubber kind of feel to it. So when it gets slippery or when you have it <clears throat> in slippery situations, it won't slide or move out of your hand or anything. It's very stable. Um, this part, it feels like metal, um, but it might be G10. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Um, again, um, I got it because I wanted to complement the Amsterdam that I had, and I didn't want to carry that every day. So the only negative thing that I can say about it is when you first get it, actually two negative things, when you first get it, this um, rubber stuff m makes your pants black, but once it, it uh, rubs off, it doesn't do it. The other thing, too, is this <clears throat> thumb stud. I think you can see the little step um, jagged part of it. It's very sharp. I know people are going to say, just sand it down, sand it down. I haven't got there yet, but um, it tears the heck out of your thumb when you open it. And there's a little bit of a resistance when you open it. And <clears throat> if you open it more than, you know, five, six times, your thumb will get a little um, cut up here. So um, this part is a little jagged. And I think, I don't know if it's ripping my pants a little bit. I'm not sure. I haven't really checked my pants. Um, this here, when you first push it, put it into your pocket, there's a little bit of grip here. And then once it gets beyond this clip, it's, it slides in pretty good. So there, it is a tight, a tight fit. Um, so overall, it does have a kind of a heavy feel to it. Um, it is made very solid. Um, it's center, it's centered very, ooh, very well. Um, it's very fast opening. Um, the overall aesthetics to it, I really like it. I like it's curved here. It has a little bit of a curve here, again, which is a plus and minus because aesthetically it looks, it complements, you know, the slight, slight curvature here. Um, but sharpening it is kind of a nightmare. Um, you can get the tip to about midway, extremely sharp, um, but sharpening this back part of it is kind of hard. Um, I did get the S30V um, version of it, and I really like it. Um, I don't know how the other versions are. I think it's a 1670 just straight out. Um, this is the S30V, so <clears throat> I got it because it has reportedly a little bit more edge retention. You can close it one-handedly and open it. And again, it is very fast. I don't know if you can really, really see it opening in the camera, but um, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, you know, not much I can say really negative about it. Um, I have used it heavily um, when butchering from start to finish. Um, I did have to hone it in the middle of the process, but other than that, it it's great. Um, there's a little bit of a jimping here. Um, you don't really need it. It feels really secure in your hand. For me, um, 
you know, it, it just, it feels good. Um, <clears throat> it has a liner lock. Um, it does have the steel liners and a little bit part way in, but it's not a full steel liner. Um, the only thing that I have noticed too is when I take it in sandy situations, sand does get into the assisted opening and it crunches a little bit. So you have to blow it out and clean it out really well. Um, other than that, I really like it. Uh, I carry it almost every day. So um, this is the Kershaw Blur. And that's all I have to say about it. Thank you. Bye.